Hey there, it's Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and a new card making video. In today's video, I am sharing with you the large die of the month from Spellbinders for April 2022. This is the Say Cheese die set. There are 28 dies in this set and it makes the cutest little vintage style camera. At least I think it looks vintage. Let's take a look at each piece. We have two big pieces when put together create the base of the camera and then a lot of little detail pieces that really bring it to life there's several different circles and rings you can layer together to be like the um, I think it's iris of the camera <laughs> there's larger circles that are the flash of the camera then you can die cut those together to make a ring and I'm going to show you how all of this goes together step by step so you can easily rewatch this and recreate it with your large die of the month for this little piece you're going to need eight of these and you're going to put them together to help create a dimensional look for the flash and it just pieces together perfectly if you follow the outline of the circle then you can decide which of the circles you want to go in the center of that as well these little pieces right here are the like hardware of the camera like the buttons and then we have this piece which is um like the viewfinder i would call it that you're going to look through i think that's what it is and then this is a little accent strip for the bottom of the camera so you can just play with different colors and create this camera to be your favorite colors your friends favorite colors or you know just have fun with it these are little pieces that make the look of a strap of the camera the die cuts two at once there's um this piece that cuts like the shine mark on anything that would be like glass and there's three different sizes of those i'm going to use all three i'll show you them as i put together this camera there are also some sentiments that you can die cut out using this rectangle thanks smile and hello and it will cut this frame for you you can also use the rectangle by itself to make a piece to back that with and there's the perfect little rectangle to mount it on right on top of that camera okay let's put this together i really wanted to go for that vintage feel so i brought out what other ink could you use but vintage photo <laughs> so i'm using a finger style blending brush you guys these blending brushes are amazing i got mine off amazon for such a good deal i'll link my amazon storefront for you below if you want to check them out they come in a set of like at like 13. So I splattered my pieces as well. I'm showing you both of those camera pieces. I die cut my larger piece from a lighter yellow and my smaller piece that goes on top in a darker yellow, just going for a kind of tone on tone look. And then I, this little strip also I die cut from that darker yellow. And then I just drug the little ink cube right on the bottom of that to distress it. Okay, for the, what I'm calling iris of the camera, I could be completely wrong, but you know, the part that opens opens and captures the image. Like if you know what that's called, you're probably into photography more than me. Um, and you think I would be, I take pictures every day of cards that I make and edit them. I, I should really know this better. I should have looked it up. <laughs> okay. So I added those on using foam squares and then I am just putting the pieces together, adding that ring, adding the shine mark. Here's the, um, I'm gonna call viewfinder and I'm putting the little rounded square on top of the square and all of these pieces, not all of them, most of them are gonna die cut but also press detail into the paper which is one of my favorite things about Spellbinders dies. They're not just your basic die cut shape, like they have so much detail in them, it's just cool. It's really cool. And these little sentiments right here are, are kind of something that Spellbinders is known for. They have them on all different kinds of die sets for their truck, their car, um, the door set that they have. Like it's, it's one of their signature things. So I chose Smile for my camera and then I'm adding on the buttons. So I glued them on so they were kind of centered, but once you add that large flash on, if you decide to add that to your camera, you're gonna wanna push these out closer to the edge. And I do end up repositioning mine and it was fine, but I just wanted you to know that. So these little pieces right here are what the strap is going to hook to. So if you're not adding a strap to yours, you could totally leave these off and really just customize this camera to how you like it. Here's those straps. You're gonna glue one piece behind the camera and the other one on top of those little hardware pieces. Now, um, these are 
me I cut mine my little hardware pieces with some metallic brushed silver cardstock and this part right here that I'm gluing on that's the flash I use some like pearlized white paper so these cameras are really cool for pulling out and using little bits and pieces of specialty paper which I thought was super fun so play with that metallic type paper or even the holographic papers would be really fun too so yeah just have fun with it i'm attaching this to the center you can see i use the smaller of the shine marks um, on that one and then i'm using the ring to go around the outer edge now for some reason when i glued this down i got it a little bit off i just trimmed off with my scissors the part that i got um, that was showing around the ring that I didn't want. So here you can see my buttons, they're too far in. So I'm gonna gently twist them to remove them. And now maybe the backside of my camera isn't the most pretty, but it's not gonna be seen. So it's totally fine. And the liquid glue wasn't like completely set yet. So I was lucky I was able to take those off and reuse them. Before I attached my flash, I took some of that ink left over on my um window sheet that I was using to splatter with and I just brushed it on to give a little bit of a dingy vintage feel to the flash so it coordinated better with the camera. I was just having fun with that vintage vibe on this um, and really you know you can make your shiny sparkly glittery however you want to do it. All right this is the embossing folder of the month for April Radiant Burst. It goes so perfectly with this die set, I love it. I am die cut or embossing a piece of cardstock that's four and three fourths by six and three fourths because I am making an A2 sized or an A7 sized card. So it's going to be five by seven and that's going to fit this camera beautifully and it's going to leave me lots of room to add flowers. There are a ton of flowers in this die set to go with the camera. It's like two die sets in one, which Spellbinders does a lot of times in their dies of the month. All right, so I'm doing the same thing, adding vintage photo and the splatter on there. I kind of added a lot, but so much of this is going to be covered up. So when I do splatter and I know I have a lot of stuff to put on there, I tend to be heavy handed or do a lot. And it might seem a little excessive, but like I said, so much of this is going to be covered up. I want to make sure that there's some showing. So now let's move on to the flowers. Look at how gorgeous these are. So this little centerpiece, it um, die cuts little holes into the paper, but I liked the little holes to stay in the paper. So, you know, there's two different ways to do that. Plus the die cuts out a background piece. So if you do poke out the holes in the center, you could back it with a second color of paper. Perfect. All right, now onto this flower. It's three layers. There's a solid piece, a piece that cuts out holes, and then a, like a floral leafy part that goes over top. They're so pretty. I love them. I did yellow, light pink, and a darker pink. This is the most simple flower. It's just your basic flower, and you put the smaller of that flower center in the middle. Then we have some leafy pieces. I love that one right there. These add leaves to a stem. I'll show you the stem right here. The die cuts out two stems at once. It's very thin. And then this piece cuts out little leaves and also the base of this flower. So you just put a little dot of glue and then press the flower right onto that. And look how, like how much that adds to this flower. So cool. All right, now I am going to kind of just lay things out where I think I'm gonna want them to go. Just playing around with placement. I have all these flowers, leaves, stems, and I'm going to create a frame around my embossed panel um, that my camera will sit in the middle of. And then it's time to glue all the things down. I used mostly glue and I pretty much stuck with how I arranged things. And then I did use a few foam squares to pop things up. Once everything was in place, then I popped my camera up with, yes, a ton of foam squares because I really like things to stick well and be sturdy. So I do use a lot of foam squares, but I get them at the Dollar Tree. So I feel like I can be, um, it, wasteful is not the right word, is it? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right, so I'm gluing this down to my A7 size card. So it's five inches by 10 inches. No, it's not. It's seven inches by 10 inches. <laughs> Scored at five. I'm on a roll today, right? 
<laughs> Here is my camera card the from the Say Cheese die set from Spellbinders. I think this is the cutest camera. I really wanted to make a ton more, but I just ran out of time before I wanted to get this video to you. So maybe you'll see some more of these in some upcoming videos. I will be back with the Glimmer Hot Foil Kit of the Month for April as well. So stay tuned for that video and I will see you all again very soon with more paper crafting fun. Happy stamping. Bye.